Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is The Spaz Devil and this is your one-stop shop for everything old school RuneScape. Now before we jump in, if you do enjoy the content that I make in the videos I put out, hit the subscribe button. It means you get free content popping up in your feed. It really helps me and I love making these videos for you. In today's video, I am going to be showing you the no-nonsense, no BS approach to killing Skitizo, meaning you're running around less, you're getting the kills done quicker. This is the most effective way to kill this boss, and it has a really lovely drop rate on the pet, which I'm sure is what you are going for, so let's jump in. Let's talk about the gear setup. Now the weapon you're going to be running into Skitizo's lair with is either going to be a spec weapon, I've chosen to use a Void Waker, but you don't need to use a spec weapon, or you're going to be using the Arc Light, which is super effective against demons. You can actually obtain this weapon after the Shadow of the Storm quest. You get the Dark Light Sword, and you actually use Ancient Shards, which are dropped by every monster within the Catacombs of Karend, to charge up the Dark Light into the Arc Light. You're also going to need a dark totem to enter Skitizo's lair. One totem means one Skitizo kill, and these are also dropped in three pieces that you must put together by all the monsters within the Catacombs of Karend. Now an amazing tip I have for you is to turn on the ground items plugin as you can see here, and under your highlighted items you can type in dark totem top, dark totem middle and dark totem bottom and assign them a highlighted items color so that every time you get one of these drops you get the loot beam come up from the ground and you never miss a shard or a totem piece. Continuing on with the gear setup, I'm using a Nezanot face guard, although a regular helm of Nezanot will do. An infernal cape or fire cape is best in slot. Amulet of torture, we're using a blessing for prayer bonus. A vernacle dragon defender, full bandos, primordial boots, ferocious gloves and a warrior's ring imbued. Because the prayer bonus isn't that important, but we are using slash weapons. And unless you want to spend 100 million on a bellata ring, this is your second best in slot. For the inventory, I've just put my spec weapon back in there, but we're going to be using a Divine Super Combat Potion, three Super Restores, but you won't need them all. I'm taking a Stamina Potion because there's a little bit of running around, but I'm going to show you how to negate a lot of that. Two Dark Totems so that we can do two quick kills, some Sharks, and a one-click Teleport. This is a really, really easy boss to kill. Now before we actually enter the lair, let's just talk about our quick prayers. Now when we run in, we are going to want to be praying against magic, because when you're at a distance from Skatizo, he's going to use magic to hit you, but when you get up close, he's going to primarily use melee. Now he can use magic while you're right next to him, but he uses it a lot less than his melee attack. So magic when you're at a distance and melee while you are close. And of course we are going to be praying piety for that incredible DPS buff that this prayer gives you. Now that we're ready, we're going to take a sip of our Divine Super Combat Potion, one sip of our Stamina Potion, and equip your spec weapon if you are using one. You're now going to use your Dark Totem on this purple well, and you will be teleported into Skatizo's lair. The first thing you are going to do is run up to him, switch to protect from melee when you are in front of Skatizo, and just dump him with your special attacks. Once you've dumped him with your specs, you're just going to switch to the Arc Light and continue the rest of the fight with the arc light. Now the arc light has two incredible benefits here. Number one, if you don't have a separate spec weapon, the arc light special attack can actually lower Skitizo's defense, which is a really nice special attack to have similar to a Dragon Warhammer or a Bandos God Sword. But during the fight as well, he will occasionally spawn these orbs that will float in these little chalices around the room. They spawn on the northeast, south and west, and you will have to destroy them to stop him from healing. Now this is where I'm going to give you the first big tip of this video that you might not have seen in other guides you've watched. You do not need to destroy every single one of these orbs that pops up. You will easily be able to out DPS him and it will stop you running around the room like a maniac. So all I want you guys to do is every time you see more than two of these orbs spawn, just kill one of them so that there's only ever two
two of them spawned at a time. Sometimes you can go through the whole fight and he won't spawn any or he might spawn one. And sometimes you'll go through the fight and there'll be two or three or four. If there's four of them, kill two. If there's three of them, just kill one and then get straight back into the fight and you're going to kill him really, really easily. Because we're protecting against melee, when he does spawn these little minions halfway through the fight, they're not going to be able to hit you either. Just make sure when you're running around the room to protect from magic because when you're at a distance from him he's going to hit you with quite a powerful magic attack which is very accurate and will hit regular 25s on you. Once he's dead you can go ahead and turn your prayers off the minions will despawn and you can go ahead and grab your loot. We got a really nice 340k onyx bolt drop here. Lots of really good drops from Skatizo. It's a good way to make some passive money as you are collecting totem pieces. Just teleport to your house, use a rejuvenation pool, get your stats back and let's go ahead and reset ourselves for the second kill. This time I'm just going to run in there and slap the absolute shit out of him. This time we absolutely melted the big purple cosplay monster and we didn't even need to kill any of the orbs. He went down like an absolute sack of shit. And a decent drop, we got three rune plate legs and obviously when we do get rune drops, we are gonna go straight to the grand exchange. We are going to high alk the rune plate legs and then we are going to just instant sell the onyx bolt tips that we got. Now at the end of these two kills, again, this only took five minutes, nearly 400 and 50k. A really nice way to spend five minutes from some totem pieces that you are going to pick up very passively while doing Slayer in the catacombs of Karend. We still don't have the pet. I'm sure I will get it eventually, but that is the end of this video. Go and kick Skatizo's ass and I will see you guys on the next one.